Test chamber These 11. These are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Make your light bridge to come over this side by shooting the portal over there, or else you won't be able to make it. Press that button. Drops a cube back there. And keeps dropping cubes. So now, you can put your portal there. No, nope, wrong one, wrong, 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 right there! Jump cut magic! Anyway, what you need to do is you need to get your bridge back there. So, shoot your portal. Over here! That's what you need to do. So you walk down here, turn, shoot your portal on here so it comes over here. Shoot your portal on here so you can come back here and get your weighted storage cube. It's not a companion cube, this is a storage cube. Drop it here. Put your bridge there. I said, oh, that's glass. Never mind. Bridge there. You can tell where you're supposed to put it because it's the panels are cleaner than normal. Hop over and make funny noises because these light bridges make funny noises when you jump on them. And now that door is open. But it's really weird to get over there. Or it's really weird to get back onto that bridge. So I'm just going to take a bit of a shortcut. And we're Excellent. Up. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hi, Wheatley! Hey! Hi! I'm here! I found some bird eggs up here, just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down! I- Ah! Bird! 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 Okay, that's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here. Wonder if Wheatley knows what the word is. I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes! Keep te- just keep testing! Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. First, we need that bridge. And to do that, we are going to use... Portal platforming probably doesn't work when you're that close. Or probably shouldn't, at least. Or at least, you can jump out on it. That works, too. I was going to do some crazy portal platforming, but hey, that works. Now we have the light bridge coming out here. So, we can press this button and not lose our weighted cube. Weighted cube pops out. We need to get it down in there, which we can then do by... Shooting another light bridge. And then you sh just get rid of your light bridge so you can put the button well done. on the cube fact, you did so and well. come through. I'm here. going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough.
This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. Turrets, turrets, turrets. I love me some turrets. I'm gonna mess these turrets up. Anyway, you just need to get through there by just knocking over all the turrets. Pretty easy stuff. And now, anyone who played Portal 1, again, everybody, will recognize this little test. Demonstrating how to use turrets to... Or use boxes to drop boxes and stuff. And now... Bloop! I said bloop! Get in the hole! That should have gotten that one. It didn't. I'm just gonna knock you... Eh! Just fall over! Jeez! There you go. And now... Uh... Let's do this easy way. Just portal over behind it. And knock it over. Put the cube on the button, and you're through. But this is broken. Might as well jump. Come down this hallway, and we have a door. Come through this door, and we have a loading screen. If you look to your left, you'll see a loading screen. And if you look to your right, you'll see Aperture Laboratories. It's a nice place. I like to visit there in the summer. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. Now there's another place to drop a portal around here somewhere, I think. Or can you just jump up? Oh, bleh, it's right on the floor. I'm an idiot. Oh, no, it just jumps you up here. Here is your introduction to using these little shoot the laser through them and they turn on buttons. This room is very you simple. You know how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait, it's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait, it says she has a medical degree in fashion from France. A medical degree in fashion, that's pretty... Pretty... Uh, that's pretty impressive. This is another room you can get the turret dactyl achievement in, but we already did that. Why do I keep putting the wrong turret? Portal. Why do I keep putting the wrong term in this game? Boink. Allowing you to come up here, over the top, drop down behind the turrets, knock them all over, and get your cube. Once you have your cube, you can drop your cube on the button. That opens. Use the light bridge to get around them, knock them over, because I'm spiteful, get the bridge out of your way, and we're done. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world.
I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. There is an interesting Easter egg in this room that I will show as soon as it is available. Blow up those three. Jump in and come over here and get a cube. Pick up the cube. And put it on the button to keep the laser on. Come down here and get the thermal redirection beam. Cube. Thing. Stop judging me. And rather than shooting it at those turrets over there to get out, what you want to do is have the beam come over in this direction, pick up your redirection cube, and blow up this turret in here. That'll blow open that section of wall, allowing you to crouch under it and see... The turret song! And if you look in the other direction... OH MY GOD IT'S A FAT TURRET! That's a huge turret. These show up later. Not gonna show you how though. And back here there's another Ratman den. Quite a catchy little song. I think you can look up the whole thing on YouTube so you don't have to sit and watch it here. Anyway, shoot the beam back in this direction. Hop over the other side. Use the beam, which goes through glass, to blow up some of these turrets. Turrets get blown up. Press that on there, which opens these panels coming around the corner and through the door. I actually didn't recognize what this song was until I saw the subtitles. So thank you subtitles. You helped me get that joke. You are so thank you are so thoughtful subtitles. You are also thankful. What are you thankful for? I don't know. Whatever subtitles you're thankful for. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Alright, press this button. That opens. Shoot up there. Shoot in there. Grab that. That platform goes up. What you need to do is make the platform go across there. Drop this right there on top of the button and in the way of the laser. Come over here on top of this platform. Get the light bridge out from under it. It drops, platform comes up, door opens. Surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. You're a robot. You can't do human things like getting choked up. What are you talking about? <laughs> 